Hey guys, Mrs. Top Techie here and for today's tutorial uh, I'm going to be showing you how we're adjusting, my department is adjusting to this uh, time of need, right, with the COVID-19 and how we had scheduled and we had already planned ahead in advance um, this activity that we had and I kind of want to show it uh, right now. So this was the activity, we were in the middle of sectionalism and so the idea of the activity was to color in the different sections of the United States at this time, right before the Civil War. And then the kids were going to cut these out and pull them out and paste them and paste and place them in their appropriate section. So if it was a cotton cultivation or cultivation of cotton, then they would paste it here in the southern section, right? So that was the idea and this would be the final product. Uh, this was going to be our final product that the kids were going to do. So I thought, well, you know what? It doesn't mean that all our planning goes out the window. What we're going to do is we're going to digitize this. We're going to tech it up and we're going to make it. And what I decided to do is make it in a Google Slides presentation. And then we're going to share it on Google Classroom to all our kids where they're all going to be able to work on their own individually and submit it individually. So we end up getting something like this, but in a digital format. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go about doing that next. So this is the activity that uh, our kiddos will be doing instead of the actual paper one that I, we had created for them. So now they're going to be doing it in a digital version. So this is what they're going to receive and the instructions are for them to sort and categorize these important terms by dragging them into their appropriate section. So the very first thing is they will be working off of it like this, like, like they're editing it. And we made it so that it's going to be a copy for themselves. So whatever they work on, they're going to submit and it's only going to be by, uh, under their name. So there's no collaboration. Uh, here we wanted to see their work and so here all they would have to do is click on it and once they see those uh, the the little um, cross symbol then they would drag and they could drag it where they believe it goes so in this case north goes here south goes over here west goes over here and then they'd start looking into these specific terms and so we gave them a little bit of background knowledge that we use in the classroom uh, C plus G equals E uh, which in turn uh, equals to sectionalism so climate plus geography equals their economy and that made their section so then they would go in and think okay pro-slavery who is for slavery who believes in slavery who has it and then they'd be dragging it all around to where it belongs so this is the final product that the kids would be turning in right in their Google classroom uh, what I do want you guys to keep in mind is that um, they don't have to be like really nice and neatly unless your instructions specify otherwise as long as the idea is there if you want to go ahead if this is maybe ELA and you want to do language frames and so instead you make sentences and you put the terms on the right hand side so that they place them uh, appropriately and they're using it in the right context then you can go ahead and do that too you know what I mean so there's a lot of neat ideas on how to use this but for the sake of time and to try to keep this simple right uh, using that kiss method uh, try to keeping this simple I'm going to show you just a couple little neat tricks how to create this uh, especially to make uh, it easier for our kiddos to complete the first thing is the background image. If you are going to be using a background image, you want to make sure that it doesn't move around because then the kids are going to be moving that instead of the terms. Uh, so we want to go to background and you want to choose your image and you can choose to upload from your desktop if you have something sh saved on your computer or you can go to uh, Google and search the images there. Uh, but I have mine saved because I created my, my map on my iPad so I want to use that map specifically then the other thing is uh, I want to add the text so for the sake of time I'm just gonna copy and paste the text so you put your text in there then after that here's how you do the little boxes uh, you're going to go here to shapes and you're gonna pick the shape you want to use I like using this one 
and you just make it to the size where you feel is going to be the size uh, that fits your assignment. After this, here in this little paint bucket is your fill color. The next one is the outline color. So I don't want an outline color. I can do it like that. Or if you do want an outline color, then you go there. This is the, the, the weight of the outline, and now you have it. Always remember that in order for you to get those formatting tools, you need to click on, you need to select what you want to work on. So if I want to format this box, then I'm going to be, I'm going to select it and all my tools are going to come out. Uh, if I want to work on just the slide, notice I click on this slide. I don't have the formatting tools for the box. If I want to format my text, then I have to select it. And now those formatting tools come up. Those are just really quick tips that will save us a headache, right? Uh, the other thing is I want to add text. I'm going to double click on it and now I'm able to add text in here. Same thing. Now that I'm selected on that text, I can choose to go here and align it if I want it in the middle, if I want to bold it, if I want a specific um, uh, font on there. You can also add more fonts. If you go here, you can add a lot of different fonts to your library of fonts as well. And so basically that's it guys. You, you keep doing this. I like to do this where I copy and paste. If I'm doing a lot of them, I just copy and paste. I can even do this. I can select all of these and copy and paste. And now I have more. And so if you're doing a lot of them, that's going to save you a lot of time. And now all you have to go in there and do is change the text. Okay, guys. So it's, it's, these are really simple tips and tricks uh, for you to be able to do. Mind you, you want to be working off your drive that you're going to be using to share this uh, Google Slides presentation with your kids on your Google Classroom. But as for now, that's the, that's the, the whole idea of this activity. Now I'm going to show you how you can share this activity to all your kids and they each get a copy on Google Classroom. This is the Google Classroom that I share with a colleague. She made me a co-teacher. And so I want to show you how to go about adding that activity that we just made into our Google Classroom and assigning it to all our kids. So the first thing we do is we go up here to the menu bar and we click on Classwork. We're going to create an assignment. We're going to title our assignment. Uh, sectionalism drag and drop activity. And then I think it's best practice to always add your directions. Even though my Google Slides presentation has it, I think it's important to still add it. Um, after this, you're going to go to add an attachment. And this is where I said it was important that whatever you're working on, uh, whichever Google Slides presentation you're working on, that you work on that account that is, a, that is directly linked to your Google Classroom because I have multiple accounts and sometimes I create one and then I have to share it to another account. So it's always best to, to go about doing that. It'll save you a little bit of a hassle. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive and the cool thing is because I'm linked, it automatically gives me my most recent presentation that I was working on. You can always search for it here as well. So I'm gonna click on that one and I'm gonna add it. And here's the best part of this. I'm gonna scroll over to the right and on this drop down menu, you have three options. Students can view the file only, students can edit the file, or make a copy for each student. We want to make a copy for each student because this way they uh, edit it and they're able to send it out and it's their own individual work. So that's what we want. Once we move over here to the right hand side, then we go uh, ahead and click on this. And if you want to give it to multiple classes, this is where you check off your classes that you would be assigning them to. Uh, if you want to give it to all your students or just a few of your students, the assigned due date, uh, the topic of it. So if you want to create a topic like this is all on sectionalism, then you can do that too. If you have a rubric, then you do it here as well. Or if you want to schedule it, or just save the draft for later, later, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and do that. But I hope that overall this was a, a 
very clear and concise. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, in addition, if you want to see anything else that you're interested in, um, I'd love to do more tutorials. You just let me know what you want to see, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also uh, click on that bell so that whenever I put up new videos, you're notified and you, can, you won't miss out on those, okay guys? Have a good one.